Uh, my name is Nate Smith, and we are at Barbalinas in Brooklyn, New York. Barbalinas is a reference to, it's sort of a nod to our upbringing um, area where we grew up, which is in California. Uh, Bolinas is a very special, small town um, that my wife, Sophie, um, grew up in. It's very close to San Francisco, just north of San Francisco. They, they're notorious for taking down the street signs before GPS was around so people couldn't find it. We felt that we were not going to be moving back to California anytime soon, and we wanted to bring a piece of California for, uh, with us you know, to Brooklyn. I think that if there's anything that we would say about California is that the product is impeccable, and I think that you know, what we are doing here is focusing on the product, um, delivering something that's casual, approachable. The bar part of the bar um, is that you can come here and you can get a meal and not commit to having like a full dinner. You can just come in and get something, you know, snack stuff and drink, and it's not like a big, um, you know, event. The food at Barbalinas is casual, super fun. It's designed to be snack styles, California street food, basically. We have a few vegetarian options, but one uh, that we're going to cook tonight is the, the mushroom flatbread. Uh, we do a, like a house sourdough. Uh, like, um, it's, like a, it's like a pizza dough, but instead of it being with uh, manufactured yeast, we do um, wild yeast. So basically what we do is we've just, we just create a starter and keep a little bit to start for the next day. You know, actually, uh, it's, it's, it's probably a few years old now. Yeah, We prepare that um, by grilling it. Uh, but you want to move it around on the grill so that it doesn't just cook in one spot. So just kind of moving it around will allow it to you know, get a more even cooking. And you'll get, be able to crisp it up. And once we grill it, we um, basically put a put like a make we make a mushroom sauce. So that's a really basic sauce of um, caramel. You know, like caramelizing some sliced garlic. We um, we take uh, some dry shiitake mushrooms. Um, that's been rehydrated um, and chopped up, and then we steep that with a little bit of cream, uh, and and then basically puree that puree that all up and make a sauce out of that. So it's like a cream-based mushroom sauce um, that goes on the on the on the flatbread with um, some Idlewise Havarti, which is um, coming out of Wisconsin. The mushrooms that go on the flatbread, have, you know, the layers of it all, uh, like cremini. And we do shiitake. We season very heavily the, the sliced uh, mushrooms and roast them pretty hard. There's some herbs, some you know some herbs, but it's pretty it's pretty simple. Just, we dry our own oregano. That's something that I have to say is very important. If you're ever going to use oregano, dry oregano. You, you must dry it. It's very easy to do, but it's uh, you can't use store bought dried oregano. It's terrible. And then um, we put some sliced red onion on it. So now this goes up into the salamander. Uh, I think that uh, living on the East Coast has really taught me a lot about seasonality. I think the focus on vegetables as a, as a, as a culture, I think that we're more aware of them. I think chefs love products, and I think it's exciting to work with things that farmers are discovering and you know and growing for us. I think it's important to talk about the farms that you know these little farms that really are supporting their families and um, how important your dollar is to them and how it works in the system of, of um, purchasing from your local farms and, and then dining at your local restaurant and how, um, you know, as we grow into this sort of monoculture time in, a, in, in America where whole foods are popping up everywhere and, and, and everything seems to be operating on such a mass level, um, it's important to just kind of take a step back and, and, and um, support your community. And then we finish with Thai basil and parsley. This is our mushroom flatbread. Yeah, I do cook a lot of vegetarian food because I was interested in vegetarian food. It is challenging for me uh, to bring a vegetarian food in non-vegetarian areas.